The Hubs and Mini Pro came out in June 2021 and is a good alternative for the DJI Mini 2. In this video, we will be doing a detailed review of the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro. The video will go through all the pros and cons of the Hubs and Zeno, so you can make an informed decision and see if the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro is a suitable drone for you. So let us get right to it. Before we start, please make sure to click the like and subscribe button and press the bell icon for regular updates. The first thing to note about the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro is less than 250 grams in weight. That means that you don't need a special license or permission to fly this drone in most places. The Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro is the first quadcopter with a 4K camera and obstacle avoidance system under 250 grams. If we look at the battery, the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro comes with a 3000 mAh lithium battery with a charging time of 90 minutes. The battery gives a max flying time of 40 minutes. This was measured while the Zeno Mini Pro flew at 25 km per hour in windless conditions. In terms of range, Hubson reports that we can expect a range of 10 km. The drone comes with both GPS and GLONASS navigation systems. Looking at the speed, you can expect flat flying rates of up to 10 meters per second in normal mode and 16 meters per second in sports mode. The drone has its camera mounted on a three-axis gimbal. It comes with a large one, 1.3 inch CMOS sensor that can take pictures of 48 megapixels. The camera is also having an HDR mode and a 6x digital zoom. In terms of video, the max resolution is 4K 30fps in H.265, heft video codec with a maximum bitrate of 200 megabits. S. The Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro also has an improved video transmission system called Synclees 3.0. This allows the Zeno Mini Pro to view a 1080p 30fps video feed with a bit rate of 20 to 40 megabits, s and a delay of less than 200 ms. The controller for the Zeno Mini Pro is gray and looks very similar to the controller that came with the Zeni 2. A non-color digital display shows all the flight data like distance, speed, signal strength, and the number of satellites on lock. In the under 500 US dollar market segment, Hubson is DJI's biggest rival. You can expect the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro to set you back $550. Now that we have a good overview of the hardware and specifications of the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro, let us look at what we like about this drone. The first thing that comes to mind is that Hubs and managed to pack 4K capabilities in a sub 250 gram drone. That in and of itself, for many people, is a pretty attractive feature. In places like the EU, you need to have a special license to fly a drone that is heavier than 250 grams. Another great feature of the Zeno Mini Pro is its firm bottom LED light to help land the drone in low light conditions. This auxiliary light activates automatically, and it's useful for visibility when landing in poorly lit fields. Zeno Mini Pro also has bottom optical flow sensors, just like on the DJI Mini 2. These tiny cameras help the Zeno Mini Pro make a more precise landing by detecting the landing surface. As we mentioned, Zeno Mini Pro works with both GPS and GLONASS positing systems. Before takeoff, it requires at least 10 satellites to be fixed to fly safely. The Zeno Mini Pro will return autonomously to the takeoff point in low flight battery voltage or RC signal loss. It has 5 visual sensors, 1 downward, 2 forward, 2 backward, for its obstacle detection. An important thing to note is that collision avoidance is not supported in sports mode. Also, another thing to remember is that the drone doesn't have a sensor on top. It won't know if anything is above it. So don't try to take off under a tree. Overall, the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro offers quite a punch in a light and compact package. You can easily fold this and take it anywhere with you. Not all is good with the Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro. It has some serious drawbacks that you should consider before buying it. The first thing that comes to mind is that the price is a little high, depending on where you buy it, especially if you consider drones by their direct competition DJI or cheaper. The Hubs and Zeno Mini Pro is currently priced at $550. To put this into perspective, the DJI Mini 2 will cost you as low as $449. You will be paying a little more for more or less the same experience. Users have also pointed out that setting up the Zeno Mini Pro can be pretty complicated. There are too many calibrations to perform before you fly the thing. Things like compass calibration, vision system calibration can get annoying. Other users have also reported that there are frequent RC disconnects with the aircraft disconnected message. While some users are experiencing these issues, other users report the opposite and say the connection works flawlessly. This could be a quality control issue, and there might be faulty units floating around. But a drone performing well should be based on you being lucky and getting a good team. 
Hubson should have stricter QA if they want to stay in competition with DJI. The Hubson Zeno Mini Pro is a decent choice for people looking for a DJI Mini 2 alternative. The drone offers competitive features. But user reviews have pointed out that some faulty units could ruin your experience. We recommend buying the Hubson Zeno Mini Pro from established sites like Amazon that have excellent return policies if your team has a fault. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you liked the video, you must press the like and subscribe button. And let us know your valuable feedback by commenting below the video.